Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining me. Guys, I have something incredibly special today. I'm actually a little bit nervous. <laughs> this is a very expensive watch. Uh, this is the limited edition, only 75 were made, Panerai Chrono Passion kind of collaboration, left-handed Luminor submersible, and this is model number PAM00239. This is my first Panerai review. I could be more excited. Let's check it out. Officine Panerai, la submersible, version gaucher. C'est vrai que c'est une obsession chez nous. 75 exemplaires, le seul regret, c'était dans 2006. Ces 75 exemplaires, aujourd'hui, sont devenus des icônes de la marque et nous sommes très fiers que Panerai nous ait permis d'avoir réalisé cette série qui est devenue culte. All right, guys, we'll get into this, but first check out my Amazon shopping channel if you like any of the other watches I've reviewed on my channel. I do get a very small commission if you buy from my Amazon store, so I definitely appreciate it. All right, so, well, first of all, this is the absolute biggest watch box I have ever had on the channel. This thing is massive. I think it's actually made out of some sort of resin to make it look like wood, or it might be wood. Obviously, I'm not a Panerai expert, so if y'all know if these are actual wooden boxes, please let me know. All I know, this thing is heavy. It's almost four pounds. It's got to be probably seven by seven. It is just absolutely gigantic. Uh, again, the biggest watch box I've ever had on this channel. And also, I want to thank Dave at Art Watches for loaning me this beauty. This thing is its absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I really want to thank him again. Uh, again, this is a super, super expensive watch and incredibly rare, and it was really nice of him to uh, loan this out to me. Now, a couple things. One, this watch is 16 years old. This came out in 2006 as a like super rare limited edition of 75 units. Uh, there is a watch boutique in Paris called Chrono Passion. They carry a whole bunch of the higher-end Swiss brands like Vacheron and and Patek, and obviously Panerai, and some other, and a whole bunch of other different brands, uh, like Frank Mueller, and you name it, they carry it. Anyway, I guess Panerai and um, Chrono Passion decided to do a limited edition watch uh, of the Luminor Submersible, and that's what this is. So again, it's, I mean, the thumbnail says it's the rarest. I think it's the rarest Luminor Submersible in the world. Uh, it might not be, but again, being left-handed, and only having 75 units made, I'm 99% sure this is one of the rarest Panerai watches that you can buy. All right, guys, there's a ton of stuff to go over with this watch. Uh, first of all, it is 16 years old. The watch and the watch case and all the contents inside are 16 years old. So there has been some deterioration of like that felt like velvet lining inside of the watch. Uh, if you touch it, it's gonna shed little black particles all over your clothes. It's almost like ruined my desk. I'm going to have to wipe my desk down really well to get all this black, you know, little particles or whatever they are. Uh, and that's because of the felt lining. And that's because, again, this watch is 16 years old. The watch itself is in pristine, literally mint condition. The strap is fine. The other strap is fine. Everything else is good. It's just the black lining inside of this box. I guess it's just not meant to last that long. But the watch itself, again, and everything else is fine. So let me go ahead and show you. There's a couple little things here I want to show you. One, here is the plaque right there. And that plaque has a like vinyl sticker over it. As you see, there's like a little keyhole in there, but I'm not going to take the sticker off. I guess the original owner that actually bought this at Chrono Passion in Paris did not remove the original sticker. So I'm not going to remove it, but you can actually lock this box. So let me go ahead and open this thing up. God, this thing is massive. All right. So there you go, you've got Luminor Submersible left-handed right there. Here is your little key, if you look right there, there is your little key that would uh, lock the box, little metal key. This almost feels like this has a little piece of plastic on it as well. But anyway, that would go down here. And again, I'm not gonna take that sticker off. There's also another sticker up here that you can't see and it would just be a pain in the butt to rotate the camera. Anyway, there's another little official uh, plaque up there that says, uh, limited edition. I'm sorry, it says special edition. Um, what else? Here's the watch itself. Here's the black stuff I'm talking about. 
that just sheds like crazy. Let me see if I can get some on my fingers. I don't know, you can probably see it. There might be some under my nails already. I don't know if you can see that or not. But uh, let me see. It's It just sheds like nuts, man. It really, really sheds really bad. Anyway, so this is the black stuff I'm talking about. When I get done with the review, you might see a whole bunch of it on my desk. So if you're wondering what that black stuff is, it's coming from this felt lining right here. So let's go ahead and take the watch off of the pillow. And for being 16 years old, this uh, strap is actually kind of soft still. I was a little surprised. It's actually pretty soft. All right. So there's your first look at it. Such a cool looking watch, man. I mean, Panerai's, I think, are just fantastic looking watches. I've always loved their style. I've always loved the size. They're a little on the large size. You can get some that are really big, uh, but I like the large size. I love the crown lock system. That's what they're famous for. Again, this is normally over here on the right-hand side, as well as the date window is also on the left, as well as the crown being on the left. So everything is reversed. You got your running seconds over here. Of course, you got uh, Luminor submersible at the top, Panerai, and then the automatic at the bottom. Then, of course, Switz made right near the 6 o'clock index. So there's your kind of first look at the watch. All right. Now, I'm not going to tell you what number this is just because Dave doesn't want me to. So I'm not going to tell you uh, the number in the series of 75 that this actually is. Um, but anyway, we'll go ahead and go over a little bit more about this watch. So let me put this to the side. Oh, man, this is expensive. It just makes me nervous just holding the dang thing. All right, so you got your certificate right here. Let me undo this. Y'all can't see this because I can't get in the frame. All right, certificate right there. Panerai Luminor submersible left-handed. You can see some of that black stuff on the certificate. Official Panerai right there. That goes in here. All right. And then you lift this whole tray up. There you go. And here's the rest of the stuff. Uh, you have your official Panerai manual right there. And then you have this one. And this contains the warranty card and the COSC certificate. And what this means is that the watch has been tested in multiple different positions and temperatures. Uh, most upper end, higher end Swiss watches, a lot of them are going to have this certification. Let me open this thing up here. See if I can show you a little bit more. There we go. Yeah. So it shows you all the different positions. It shows you everything that's been done to the watch to test it. It's really cool, man. Really, really cool. All right. And of course, you've got the, the warranty card right there. I'm not going to flip it over. You can see all the black stuff right there. See, that's what I'm talking about. It just wipes off. But man, it's just, the thing is, it's just like a Labrador that's shedding. It's just shedding like crazy. You can see it all inside here. All inside the uh, the warranty booklet. Ugh. I wish they would fix that. I wish they would, you know, make some packaging that would last longer and not do the shedding stuff. But again, the watch itself looks like it's literally brand new. So somebody really took very good care of the watch itself. All right, let's go ahead and put this back. You have got a, a different strap right there. Really cool different strap. Again, official Panerai strap. And you have got a strap changing tool and a little loop down here. There it is, a little strap changing tool. Pretty cool. All right, so let's put all this stuff back. Is there anything else about the box I wanna show you? No, that's pretty much it. All right. So again, what I'll do is I'll give you all the specs you need to know, and I'll put the rest down there in the description field. Let me get this massive box out of the way. God, this thing is huge. Let me wipe this thing off real quick to get some of that black shedding stuff off of here. I don't know what that liner is. I guess it's some sort of velvet or something. All right. So I think I've gotten most of it off. Hey, I keep wanting to, to show the watch this way, but honestly, it's this way. All right. So you're looking at a 44 millimeter stainless steel case. It's 14 millimeters thick. It's 53 millimeters lug to lug, comes on a 24 millimeter rubber strap. And of course you get that other rubber strap with the Velcro closure. Uh, it is water resistant to 300 meters, which is 990 feet. You've got the uh, Panerai 3 movement inside, which is basically like a base, is like an ETA 7750. Uh, you get about a 42 hour power reserve. Of course you do get a sapphire crystal with AR coating. 
Uh, and then all the rest of the specs, you know, are going to be down there in the description field. Like it's got like crown guard system. Uh, everything is over there at nine o'clock instead of three o'clock. Uh, it's, it is 149 grams because it's only on a rubber strap and not a metal bracelet. And that's another thing. That's one little ding about Panerai. They, for some reason, do not like metal bracelets. You can get them with metal bracelets, uh, but the models that have a metal bracelet are few and far between. Now, there's nothing really wrong with these rubber straps. I mean, they're, you know, they're nice, but I prefer just me. I don't know if it's, you know, a sense of security thing. I have no idea. But I like, you know, I like a little more heft. Now, a metal bracelet in this watch would probably make it over 200 grams, so it would be a heavy bastard. But, I, again, I'm just a metal bracelet guy. But, I mean, the strap itself looks fine. It's of great quality. Um, but I'm just not a rubber strap guy. And, unfortunately, this one's a little bit too small for me to wear on my 8-inch wrist. Uh, so I'll try to see if I can get it on. Uh, but, again, it's you know, I would probably have to put this on a nice either Velcro um, NATO, a bigger rubber strap. Maybe Panerai makes bigger rubber straps. I'd have to try to find something different. Uh, here is the buckle. I love that the buckle right there. Now, some other watches do this, but the Tang fits really securely right inside the buckle. It's nice and snug. There's like a little laser engraved cutout for the Tang to you know fit smoothly inside that signed buckle. It's just little details like that. This thing is massive, by the way. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the case back. All right, so you see it says uh, Official Panerai Forenzi 1860. Uh, this is when uh, Panerai started. So you can see it's a number of 75. The Chrono Passion down there at the bottom, uh, 300 meters. And again, Chrono Passion is a very nice um, watch boutique in Paris. All right, there you go. So Panerai started in 1860. Let me show you the guy in the upper left-hand corner there. Uh, they became really popular again uh, in 1996, when Sylvester Stallone was making the movie Daylight, and he was filming in Italy, I guess he was walking down the street and he found the Panerai shop. He fell in love with the look of the watch. I can understand why. And he had 10 of these watches made for his friends, and he brought them back to America. And that kind of reintroduced Panerai uh, to the watch world. And of course, you know, Sylvester Stallone's friends are going to be pretty wealthy. So it really just kind of reintroduced Panerai and they, they became a luxury, luxury watch. So, uh, you know, Panerai can really thank Sylvester Sloan for their kind of reemergence into the public, um, I guess, zeitgeist, I guess, uh, and people knowing about what these watches are. The movie itself, Daylight, eh, <laughs> it was okay. Uh, but I'm so glad that Sylvester Sloan introduced these to the rest of the world. They've been around literally for almost 100 years at that point. They got a little bit more popular in the, in the 40s. But they just kind of laid low for years and years and years, almost 50 years, until Sylvester Saloon found them uh, in Italy in that little watch shop. So interesting history, man. And Panerai has got so many different models. It's ridiculous. They've got the Radomir, the Lumineer, the Submersible. They've got ton. I mean, gosh, they've got to have hundreds of different styles of watches. So anyway, there's a little bit of history for you. Uh, I love this thing. I really do. I think it's a fantastic looking watch. I love the crown lock system. You don't have to worry about unscrewing and screwing down a crown. You just flip the lever, pop the crown out, and you can just do whatever you want, man. I love it. You don't have to worry about unscrewing or screwing a crown. It does have a, um, a hacking function, as you can see. The running seconds just stop. And then to push it back in, you just pop it back in and lock it. There you go. So I guess this really helps if you're in a wetsuit and you have a pair of gloves on. You don't have to worry about fiddling with the crown. So I love this. It's a signature Panerai look. A lot of people like it. I love it. Um, just a fantastic looking watch. Looking at the dial, it's kind of like a matte kind of gray. You've got applied indexes everywhere except for at the 12 and 6. Uh, it doesn't say what type of loom this is. I'm guessing some sort of uh, Super Luminova. Uh, I don't know, like a BG3 or something. I'm just guessing with that. Hey guys, I almost forgot the loom shot. Let me go ahead and light this thing up. It's already glowing a little bit here. Let's go ahead and zap it. Again, I'm not sure which grade of Luminova is on this thing, but it's it's glowing really brightly. There you go. Give you a good idea of what the loom looks like. As you notice, the indexes are shining brighter than the uh, Arabic numerals, which is... I guess there's just a thicker coating on the indexes. But, I mean, it shines plenty bright, so. There you go. Again, the watch is too small for me to try on. I would try it on for you, but honestly, it's just a little bit too small. So, anyway, I want to make sure I give you the uh, loom shot. 
Uh, you get a nice, uh, again, running seconds hand over here at 3 o'clock. All of the hands are highly polished. The hour and minute hand are skeletonized, so you can see right through them. Uh, it's, it's gorgeous, man. You got a Cyclops over there at 9 o'clock, which I think actually does a fantastic job of magnifying the date. It's not too big. It's just a little circle, just all you need, not like a big candy bar. Of course, you don't have a day function, so you wouldn't really need a candy bar. But it's all the Cyclops that you need to read that date. So look at the sides. There you go. Of course, you got drilled lugs. And there's the strap again. I mean, it feels like a solid piece of stainless steel. It's ridiculous how solid and well-built this watch is. It just, I mean, wow. And again, being my first Panerai review, I'm a little blown away by the quality. Now, the bezel action itself is fantastic. Maybe one of the most satisfying clicks in the watch industry. Absolutely love it. Feels great. Super solid. Just a little tiny hair of back play. All right, guys, so if you want to get this thing, head on over to Art Watches. Again, Dave is asking $13,995 for this watch. Again, you got to remember, it is a Panerai. There were only 75 made. It is an absolutely mint, pristine, perfect condition. The watch box, not so much, but all the contents are fine. But that little velvet lining is driving me crazy. Um, so you got to remember, you know, what you're getting here. Uh, definitely, you know, email him. So I actually have a page over at Art Watches. It's artwatches.com forward slash maverick. Head on over to the page. And then if you want to talk to Dave about getting this watch, email him directly at maverick at artwatches.com. Uh, if you want to get one of these, I think he's still doing the 10% off. So if this is 14 grand. I mean, 10% off, that's, you know, $1,400 off the watch. So, you know, again, if you're interested, talk to him directly and he'll work with you on the price, I'm sure. Uh, but the watch itself, again, is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, I, you know, I would think it's like a brand new watch. Somebody really took care of this thing. I mean, it's just, I don't see any scratches. I don't see any dings. I don't see any discoloration on the dial of the loom. I mean, it being 16 years old, I'm just really, really impressed. Somebody really took excellent care of this watch. So again, I'll make sure to put all that information for Dave over at Art Watches down there in the description field. As usual, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification bell. I really appreciate it when you do that. And thanks so much for watching, and I will see you on the next review. Take care. Bye-bye.